day to all our viewers out there. My name is Heinrich Nietling and welcome to Mathematical Literacy. In today's lesson, we will focus on the topic of packaging, which forms part of measurement. Okay, now before I start with our lesson, let me quickly share something interesting with you. Did you know that most customers form an impression of a certain brand within the first seven seconds of having seen it? Packaging and graphic communication is therefore extremely important from the perspective of a company. Now that to me is quite important and quite interesting. So what are the lesson objectives? So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to investigate by making use of calculations the most cost effective and the most appropriate or practical way to package boxes, cans for optimal use of space. So that is the objective of our lesson today. Now let's look at the concept map. So as I've indicated, we'll be looking at packaging, right? By starting with some explanation, meaning definition, terminology, and thereafter we will look at some examples. So let's get away with, get straight away with our terminology, right? So area and surface area, right? I've indicated here that area is the surface enclosed by the boundary lengths of a two-dimensional object or figure. Then total surface area is the total exterior area of all the exposed surfaces of a three-dimensional object. And the units we use here is cubic, or not cubic, square millimeters, square centimeters, square meters, square kilometers. Then also important for today's lesson is volume, right? The three-dimensional space occupied by a gas a liquid or a solid substance. Now the word capacity also refers to volume. Units of a solid volume, remember we have solid volume and then we have a liquid volume, is for example cubic millimeters, cubic centimeters, cubic meters, etc. And then your liquid volume, that will be your milliliters, liters and kiloliters. Okay, now guys let's do a quick practice together, okay? Now the first question here is define the term packaging, right? So we are saying that packaging is the process, right? Is the, not progress, sorry, it's the process of packing items or packing, arranging items in a small space. Now, the space given space, but it must be in the best possible way, right? Remember what we said is also important in terms of packaging, right? It should be in the best possible way by looking at practicality and so on, right? So that's the first question. The second question we are saying, state whether the following statement is true or false. So when analyzing the best packaging arrangement and material, always keep the following in mind, as I've indicated, practicality, optimal use of space, and cost effectiveness. All right, I agree with you, this statement is indeed true. We have to look at practicality, optimal use of space, and cost effectiveness. Okay guys, let's now look at question number three. So question number three, I've indicated here, choose the correct answer from the option listed below. So the statement itself is saying a diagram having length and width only, right? So is that 2D models or 3D models? I agree. Now, so the correct answer indeed, that referred to 2D models. Okay, so that was our pre-knowledge practice test. Okay, now let's look at other important wording, language for today's les lesson. So here, first up, I indicated that packaging is the process of packing items into a limited space, like, for example, packing it into a cupboard, suitcase, etc. Okay, then a 2D model is a diagram having length and width only. Okay, like we asked in the question three just now. Then your three-dimensional model, that is a dimensional construction of real-life objects. This now shows length, width, as well as your height. Okay, so that's the important language more on this, so when we work with packaging, right, the most appropriate way of packaging is packaging arrangement that uses the minimum amount of space, right, 
to package the maximum number of items. Okay, so the minimum amount of space to package the maximum number of items. So that's most appropriate way of packaging. Then in terms of most cost effective way, packaging arrangement that uses the minimum amount of material to package the maximum number of items. Okay, so let me repeat that. We are saying that packaging arrangement that uses the minimum amount of material to package the maximum number of items. All right, guys, let us take a quick advert break. After the break, we'll continue with our lesson. See you after the break.